the Rio Tinto Sports Innovation Challenge is an initiative at Imperial College uh, where we task students with coming up with new pieces of sports technology, particularly for disabled athletes. The students are here showing their work to members of the Disability Snow Sports UK organisation to get their feedback and their response on the devices they've developed. We were first asked whether a group from Imperial College could come up and see some of our sit skiers and some of our disabled people and some of the instructors like ourselves at Milton Keynes. We weren't really sure what to expect. We thought there might be just a few handful of people. Um, on the day, we must have had over 50 people asking all sorts of questions, examining the equipment, quizzing all the people who were there. These projects are always really interesting for us because the equipment we tend to use is the same equipment we've been using for lots of years. And so some of the ideas here I can see can be really useful. I can actually see how they could be used in a lesson scenario. We soon realized that when you're on a seat ski, you cannot really write yourself up once you fall. So there are many gaps in the seat skier experience that are breaking the freedom of it and the experience of it. And we wanted to get rid of them all. There are two main mechanisms. One is at the bottom of the ski and one is in the middle of it. The middle mechanism enables you to collapse the outrigger so that you can more easily write yourself into movements. So from the collapsed position, you're very close to the ground. You write yourself a little bit, extend it again, and finish to push yourself up. Very simple and fast. I'm Millie Knight, I'm a Sochi 2014 Winter Paralympian. I am severely visually impaired and I race on the British Disabled Ski Team. So currently I have a guide who skis in front of me and we are both connected up with Bluetooth headsets. So we have a microphone and an earpiece in our helmets and we talk to each other, well, she shouts commands at me and I kind of sometimes go, okay, at the end. But um, So at the moment it's commands like turn vertically under gate, so all sort of things like that and then snow conditions, so whether it's icy, choppy, slushy, whatever. We met Millie Knight that really inspired us to, to do this. No? She was talking about the problems they have uh, communicating to their guides. Glimpse lets the visually impaired understand two things. One is the direction they need to follow in the slope and we're using sound to do that. So by letting them hear where the beacons in the slope are, they can understand without having to use language where they need to go. The second way Glimpse helps is by giving the understanding of, of where the other people around them are or the other skiers. And we do that with this haptic band the helmet has around the head. So with vibration, we're understanding it then, we are making them understand in a, in a very intuitive way where the others are. For me, as I can see a little bit and I can see my guide, I think it would be more beneficial for a totally blind person as they can't see their guide. So having a helmet that vibrates and tells you where your guide is, I think is absolutely amazing. Mimic is a device to allow sit ski instructors to communicate in a better way with uh, these novice skiers to try and help them understand the sort of movements that they should be doing when they're in the sit ski. It consists of two main parts. There's the glove that the instructor wears, which has sensors built into it, uh, and then there's also uh, the glasses, which have a heads-up display that the person in the sit ski will wear. Essentially, the, the instructor has the sensors and a button on the glove that they can press, and they can rotate the glove, and this will then cause this figure, which is on the heads-up display, to then move in a different direction according to, it, to the sort of action that the sit skier should be performing. It was great to work on the Rio Tinto Sports Innovation Challenge um, because we got to have um, a really cool view on snow sports from a different perspective. The Paralympians are a bit under the radar with the technology that they get access to. It's amazing to be able to bring that really high-tech stuff that's available for the Olympians and bring that to the Paralympian side, and be able to customize that tech to really accentuate their skills. It's trying to give them as much independence as we can and let them ski as if they were fully able. With amazing people creating incredible inventions, um, the future of adaptive sports is going to just be completely revolutionized by projects like this.